Hi guys, today we will be looking at 30 idioms, part one. Let's go. Now, what are idioms? Idioms are phrases that have a meaning that is extremely different from their individual parts. Idioms have figurative meanings. Figurative language is a word or phrase that does not have its normal everyday exact meaning. Now, let's look at some idioms. First, I will say the idiom, then the meaning, and then an example. On cloud nine, extremely happy about something. When Makai got 100 on her math test, she was on cloud nine all day. Time flies when you're having fun. When you're having a good time, you don't notice how quickly time is passing. The ride is over already, said Mikhail. Time flies when you're having fun. A fish out of water. When someone is in an uncomfortable situation, it was Sam's first day at his new club and he felt like a fish out of water. Add insult to injury. Making a bad situation worse. Learning she failed her English test on the same day her dog died added insult to injury. All heirs, keen to listen to what someone has to say. The class was all heirs when Miss Cassandra mentioned the field trip to Disney World. Ants in your pants. When someone can't stay still or stop moving. Stop moving while I'm cutting your nails, Carl's mom said. You have ants in your pants today. Anything but. Not at all. When the children heard about the move, they were anything but excited. Barking up the wrong tree. Looking for the answers in the wrong place. Diana thought Chris was the one who sold the house, but she was barking up the wrong tree. Be a fly on the wall. To watch something happen without anyone knowing you're there. Nikki wished she could be a fly on the wall when her boss was discussing her salary. Beat around the bush to avoid saying what you mean. Don't beat around the bush. Just tell me why you can't buy the bag for me. Beef up. Making something stronger. My mother recommended I beef up my video to get more views. Bigger fish to fry. Having more important things to do or think about. Jones, please don't waste my time with silly little things today, said Sid. I've got bigger fish to fry. 
bite the bullet. Doing something that's uncomfortable or not fun to get it over with. After putting it off for three days, Alexandra decided to bite the bullet and start studying for her history test. Break a leg. Good luck, normally used to motivate someone who is about to do something. For example, an interview, performing, or a test. Is the painting competition today? Well, break a leg. Break the ice. To do or say something that will make people feel comfortable or better. Okay, since none of us have met before, let's play a game and break the ice. Call it a day to stop working and continue another time. After working for 10 hours cleaning her house, Paula decided to call it a day. Chip off the old block. A person who is similar or acts like his or her parent or sibling in some way. Mikhail enjoys playing dominoes much as his father does. He's a real chip of the old block. Cause an arm and a leg. Something that's very expensive. A new car costs an arm and a leg, so it's best if you start saving now if you want to buy one. Cut somebody some slack. To ease up on someone or a group. Even though Miss Nadine was late to enter the marks, Miss Cassandra decided to cut her some slack since she knew her son was sick. Cutting corners. Not spending time and resources to do something properly. Jerome cut corners on his science project so he could ride his bike and he got a very low grade. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Don't depend on something before it occurred. I know you're sure you're going to get the job, but don't count your chickens before they hatch. Drop the ball. To make a mistake. Andrine said she would make the cake for the party. But she forgot. She really dropped the ball on this one. Every cloud has a silver lining. No matter how bad something looks, there's normally a good side to it as well. James was disappointed that his art show was cancelled. But it gave him time to add final touches to his masterpiece. And his mom pointed out that every cloud has a silver lining. Get out of hand. Very hard or difficult to control. Miss Solomon told her students they can move around as they worked as long as the noise level didn't get out of hand. Getting something out of your system. Doing or saying something you wanted to do for a long time so you can move on. Mr. Ramsey knew his students were 
eager to try out the new online resources. So he told them to go ahead and get it out of their system before he started the lesson. Get your act together. Organizing your thoughts so you can do something successful. After the third time failing his math test, John's teacher told him he needed to get his act together and start working towards passing his test. Get your ducks in a row. To get things organized or make plans. I have so many papers to mark today. I need to get my ducks in a row before I get started. Give someone the benefit of the doubt. To trust what someone says, even if you're not fully certain what they're saying is true. The teacher wasn't sure Mark was really sick but decided to give him the benefit of the doubt. Give someone the cold shoulder. To ignore someone, normally because you're upset with them. Mikhail was mad at Makai, so he decided to give her the cold shoulder until she apologized. Go back to the drawing board. Starting something over with new ideas. When he failed his research, Henry knew it was time to go back to the drawing board. Thank you very much, everyone. I really hope this video was helpful. Please remember, you can look in the description and you will find more videos related to grammar. And you will also find videos related to reading. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.